True Stream Media here, and this is an incredible eugenicist clip of Arizona State University scientist Dr. Charles Arntzen, and you see him here on his page with his contact info, and he is famous within the scientific community for edible vaccines based on genetically engineered ingredients, and here he is at a biotech in agriculture panel discussion about feeding 8 billion in other words, feeding the entire world. Check out what they asked with typical population control questions. Together, um, considering the negative social and environmental impacts of human population growth, shouldn't we try to restrict food supply and return our population to a more sustainable the level? The old Malthusian question. Same, on that same note, you're only dying, you're only... should there be 8 billion people in this world? Is there a limit on and the number of people our planet can sustain? How do we go about this politely? Should we invade Mars? Uh, yeah, so wants to go to the moon, uh, so don't forget that. And uh, should we concern ourselves with feeding eight plus billion in the first place, or should we allow natural forces of carrying capacity to affect or should limit we let disease, war, and pestilence wipe people out? The side, that question. So thoughts on this? Has anybody seen Contagion? <laughs> That's the answer. Go out and use genetic engineering to create a better virus. I mean, they, 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 25% of the world population is supposed to go in contagion. Science doesn't tell us with the method. It's just so funny. <laughs> I, I think it's an absurd question. So he hides behind this statement that he thinks it's an absurd question. While they're all yucking it up about how they're going to wipe out 25% of the population with a genetically engineered virus. Like, that's a funny joke. Let's all laugh about it. And here's it, here it is again. He's referencing the movie Contagion and the wiping out of the population through genetically engineered viruses. Our emotions, the size, that question. So, thoughts on this? Has anybody seen Contagion? <laughs> That's the answer. Go out and use genetic engineering to create a better virus. I mean, twenty-five percent of the world population is supposed to go in contagion. So funny. And again, Charles Arnson is known for his work with the banana oral vaccine. It's also used in any genetically engineered fruit, vegetable, whatever. Here's an article discussing his development of the hepatitis B oral vaccine. There he is at Arizona State University, and they mention his previous institution, the Boyce Thompson Institute for Plant Research, which was Rockefeller Foundation funded and started back in 1996. He's been on PBS talking about the issue where he frequently discusses world population, particularly in the developing world, which he focuses on with his edible vaccines, which he says is where typical vaccines lack refrigeration and often go bad but they talk over and over about feeding the population as populations grow etc uh, daniel taylor talked about him and his edible vaccines of flying syringes back in 2009 at old thinker news and here he is in a paper about an award for pharmaceutical v developments about how He's also supported by the National Institutes of Health and the Department of Defense in his research to develop vaccines for Ebola and smallpox. And here he is Ugh. over here in the Ynet News article about the first Ebola vaccine to remain viable long term, which can therefore be successfully stockpiled, protects 80% of the mice they injected and tested, and it could be dried down and frozen. Uh, that may or may not mean edible as well, but it's Charles Arnson at ASU, and you just saw him in the clip joking about wiping out the population with a contagion-engineered virus, and he's done lots of other stuff too. Well, I mean, this is the guy you definitely want to be messing around putting Ebola in genetically modified fruit and then joking about killing off 25% of the population with a genetically engineered virus. I mean, I don't care who this guy's worked for, how many letters he has after his name. He has no right to make those kind of jokes. What gives him the right to put himself in that position where he can talk about just blithely killing off large sections of the population as if it's a funny joke? Isn't Arizona State University also uh, Bill Munda Gates funded? There's a professor there right now who's got an oral contraceptive mouse bait that sterilizes mice and they yeah. just started funding which that i'm sure is November. also in their biotech department oh yeah well i'm sure 
And so he's all about edible vaccines for hepatitis B, but then they've got other people at the department doing contraceptives. and Well, and it's really creepy, too, considering I've been doing research into just how many patents our USDA has, and he has worked for the USDA before. He was a research scientist for their agricultural research service. But anyways, they actually have a patent for genetically engineered swine flu virus and uses thereof. So, and that's only one of the patents they have on genetically engineered viruses. There it's, it is right there. Yeah. So. Wait a minute. That's June 2005. Right. But they had a major swine flu, swine flu outbreak, supposedly a very overhyped supposed pandemic in 2009. Oops. Yeah, well, you know what they say about Plum Island. They say that the facilities are aging and they need to be updated. Now they're going to have to close it and move it. So, Did you see Contagion? All right, we'll sign off for now, but I thought that was a pretty incredible horrible. joke hiding behind the That movie Contagion was total propaganda. That whole movie was just start to finish propaganda, scaring people that they have to get all these vaccines. And, of course, Arnson would say he thinks it's absurd because he would never do such a crude thing as just directly wiping people out and populations dealt with through development and vaccines lead to people with fewer families. I don't know. Do you Everywhere think they're going to be telling people they've got these vaccines in their bananas and in their fruit? What happens if they give the contraceptive ones without telling people? I know that's speculation, Ugh. but these people just never stop talking about limiting the population. The Rockefellers are in all directions of this. He may not even know what he's part of. I don't know. we gotta, we got to get out of here. That's TrueStreetMedia.com.